Before we talk about what to do during an opioid overdose, let's look at the list of opioids. It includes the street drugs heroin and fentanyl, as well as prescription pain medications. Anyone taking prescription or street opioids is at risk for an overdose. Those who are at greatest risk inject opioids, take higher doses, mix opioids with other medications that may cause sedation or have a pre-existing medical condition. An opioid overdose can lead to death if not treated. Here are some signs of a possible overdose. It's hard to wake the person up, or they seem overly sleepy or confused. Their breathing has slowed or stopped. Their pupils are the size of pinpoints. Their lips or fingernails are blue. If you see any of these signs and you suspect an overdose, call 911 immediately. Then administer the naloxone, also called Narcan nasal spray. Remember, naloxone only works on opioids. It will not treat an overdose from sedating medications such as benzodiazepines, which include Valium, Clonopin, Ativan, and Xanax. Start by moving the person to their back, then follow the three P's, peel, place, and press. Take the spray out of the box and peel back the corner tab to open. Hold the spray with your thumb on the bottom of the plunger and your first and middle fingers on either side of the nozzle. Tilt the person's head back and support their neck with your hand. Gently place the tip of the nozzle into either nostril until your fingers are against the bottom of their nose. Press the plunger firmly and all the way to give the entire dose. There is only one dose, so do not test it first. Then roll the person to their left side. If they do not wake up in two or three minutes, administer a second dose of naloxone. Stay near them until emergency medical help arrives. Contact your local pharmacy to find the most convenient location to purchase naloxone. More detailed instructions on how to use naloxone can be found inside the package. Preventing deaths caused by opioid overdose starts with all of us. We share the responsibility of safe care for everyone in our community.